Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Hope you guys have had a good couple days off vacationing here in Marble. Got some pretty good stuff that we can get here, so let's see what's going on. Dating services? Oh, no, I'm not going to say back then. No, no, whatever. I was going to say, did they have them back then? But no, no, let's just ignore the whole thing there. Master Hammer, huh? What does that do? You're not going to tell me before I buy it, are you? Okay, well, I'll just buy it anyway, so... Yay! We got the Master Hammer! It's a, well, better weapon for Zappa, I guess. But more importantly, it allows you to forge rainbow equipment. But there's one more thing that we need to do before we can do that. We can't do that quite yet, but you have to buy that in order to do it. Remember Zappa was saying you need a stronger hammer? Well, that's the one that you need. 10,000 gold. That's negligible. Bogus. Bogus journey? No. No. An expedition. That was such a terrible movie. <laughs> I loved it, though. You can't just add umlauts to vowels and give yourself an accent, mermaids. I mean, with doppelganger, okay, I, I could understand that. That's actually a real German word, as I was told repeatedly. But, I mean, come on. You can't do that to any vowel and make something different. Oh, wow, that was fast. How'd you have the ceremony so quickly? Well, I suppose it was while I was getting my body back, because that's what triggers this whole marble restoration sequence or whatever, getting your body back. Like, I totally skipped this the first time I played the game. Oh, and we get, well, another frame. Nothing that I care about, but you get that from Toma there, so. Yay! Yeah, sex just happens. Okay, let's get out of this cave. Hey, get out of my way. So yeah, I, I just totally missed this. I didn't even bother with rainbow equipment the first time I played the game. You really don't need it anyway. I mean, it's it makes you nigh invulnerable. It's ridiculously powerful. I will get it, though, just because it makes it easy for me to record, that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great story there, Fargo. Remember when you used to scream at the top of your lungs when we were slacking off? Ha <laughs> ha! Those were good times. You old slave driver, you. Hey, wait a minute. That's not funny at all. Uh, what kind of stories do they have to share with each other that would be good? I mean, I mean, well, I mean, it was, he was like driving them like slaves. I mean, that's not funny. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe they were talking about before he, you know, started to, uh, you know, take over the ship and, well, he was already in charge of the ship, but I mean, you know, having them work for him, essentially. I mean, I suppose he did kind of, uh, well, not pay them, but, I mean, gave them food at least. It's not right, though. Well, yeah, sound like a lucky guy. I mean, if your girlfriend, you know, is ever nagging you about something, you know, you can just go on to dry land. I mean, what's the mermaid gonna do? I mean, she's a fish. Come on. I mean, it's like Superman, you know? I mean, if Lois ever is giving him a hard time about something, he can just take off, you know? I mean, it's totally not fair, but, you know. Stay away from here. Stay away from the summoner! Eh, no clip this time. Okay, well I think that's everything interesting that we can do here. I mean, just make sure you get the man- Oh wait, you know, there's one more thing that I want to get. Let's see... I think we have to leave the village for it to work, but... Let's talk to the, uh... Gatekeeper, I guess you call this person? Or is that Zool? I forget. Was Zool the gatekeeper? It's been so long since I... Or was Zul the key master? I forget. It's been so long. Let's try it again. Yeah, yeah, you have to leave the village, and then you come back, and then you're the 100th visitor to Marble! And they give us a souvenir. What kind is that? It's the full revival element. It does what you think it does. Restores 
full HP. So that's pretty nice there. All right. I think that's the only one in the game, if I recall correctly. So, uh, yeah, there's still some more stuff we want to do here in Homeworld. Let's, uh, bring in some other party members then. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Now it's time for the massive level 7 tech quest. We got, well, it's not a quest, but, uh, you know, we gotta collect them all. Well, you don't have to, but I'm going to collect them all. So let's head on over to the Sky Dragon Isle. Got a lot of level 7 techs to get. Bring Neophio into your party for this one. I'm going to be getting all of the level 7 techs in Homeworld first, then we'll go to another world, so I kind of organized them. Hey! Oh, that monster's kind of going after that butterfly. Well, good luck with that one, pal. Huh. That's weird. I thought something was supposed to happen with Neophio. Maybe I gotta go up here and then come back down. I forget. Okay, let's see. We go upstairs, then we go back. Let's see. Does that work? Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nuts, he got the butterfly! Well, what's the problem? Are you choking on the butterfly? Uh, Neophia? Oh, huh? What happened? Oh, I guess... Oh! The butterflies ate the monster! Oh, what did Neophio do? Oh, well, we get her level 7 tech! Yay! Bam, bam, bam! Bam, bam! Bam, bam! With ba bam, bam was like a, a character on... What was that old cartoon? The Flintstones? Something like that. I forget. But anyway, we get uh, Neophil's level 7 tech. So let's head on over to Termina then. I hope I'm not jumping around too much for you viewers. You know, I mean, I want to, you know, I want you guys to know where I am. I'm still in Homeworld, Termina. I figure you guys kind of know how to get here. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't want this to take forever because there's a lot of level 7 techs for us to get. So. I'm just kind of editing out all the time that I'm spending getting from one place to another. Gets, huh? Did you find his shirt? No! Nuts. Uh, huh? Uh-oh. Serge? Dad? Huh? Oh, he's possessing her, I guess. Is that a woman? I don't know. Someone with a weird hat. You haven't been practicing your wrestling moves lately, Greco. What are you doing with ghosts? How are you going to wrestle those guys? Romana, that's the, uh, the girl, right? Where is she, anyway? Or maybe that's the other world. I forget. Or another world. Oh, yeah, yeah. How's, how's my girl doing? Fine. Okay. Bye! Sorry for, you know, possessing your friend here. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. What do you mean, carry your spirit with me? Oh, you mean carry your level 7 tech with me! Alright, Grave Digger. Seems a little morbid for a level 7 tech. No, I'm not going to show off every single level 7 tech, viewers. It would take too long. I'm not really interested. Maybe I'll show up the level, th or not level 3, the uh, triple techs at least. I don't think I've ever used a level 3 tech. They just take way too much effort to work. Come to think that I don't really use much level, um, or the dual techs in general. Because, well, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I don't use much of the dual techs except for, like, X-Strike. They just take too much effort. And really, the single techs themselves do the job enough too. So, okay, well there's still some more level 7 techs which I'll be getting next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.